The flamboyant style of crossovers never ceases to amaze me. Just look at Suzuki's fourth generation Vitara. Sharing the platform with Suzuki's SX4 S-Cross, the Vitara has compact crossover looks, a Range Rover Evoque-esque two-tone paint job, and all-wheel drive capabilities, so it looks to challenge the likes of the Renault Captra and the Nissan Duke. With prices starting from £14,000, around the same price as a mid-range Super Mini, the Vitara is competitively priced, so it'll be interesting to see how its new credentials compare to rivals. Now, I think the cabin of the Vitara is quite fresh and funky, but after asking several different people, I got some mixed responses. On one hand, you've got this cool body-coloured inlay and very modern-looking touchscreen system, which I particularly like, but on the other hand, you've got loads of scratchy plastics, and the availability of most of the cool features depends on what trim you go for. Regardless of aesthetics though, standard kit is very impressive with cruise control, automatic air conditioning, DAB digital radio and Bluetooth. Storage compartments are pretty good all round as well. Although the flagship SZ5 model with the optional urban pack has all the bells and whistles, the mid-range SZ T-Trim still has a rear parking camera and sat-nav. You're very unlikely to get complaints about legroom when you're sat in the back. As you can see, there's absolutely loads of it. Headroom, on the other hand, is a completely different story, especially if you go for this panoramic sunroof fitted on the SZ5 model. I mean, even average sized adults are probably going to complain. But regardless of this, even if you don't go for the sunroof, headroom is still very sparse. As it's slightly smaller than the S-Cross it's based on, the boost isn't quite as big at 375 litres, but it is on par with most of its rivals. The underfloor storage is good for hiding variables though, and its ability to offer a smooth loading surface when you fold the seats down is handy as well. But with the seats folded down, you do get just 710 litres of storage space, a fair bit off rivals like the Renault Capture and the Nissan Duke. Vitara offers the fun character of the Swift Super Mini with the off-road capabilities of the SX4 S-Cross. It's as simple as that really, and although crossovers tend to veer more towards style and practicality, the Vitara offers clout when it comes to driving dynamics, which is somewhat lacking in this segment. It's certainly more entertaining to drive than the Peugeot 2008 and Nissan Duke. But what do you think of the new Vitara? Let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.